doing the uh, red carpet show for them. And what I did is, is I did the red carpet with Chris White, but he was doing sound checks in the back. So I had to wait a little bit for him. But after he came out, we did a pretty good show. You can see it on the uh, Eddie Ball Trip and Fulfillment uh, Facebook page, the whole recording. It was pretty good, had a great time. We did some, um, put in a music video, uh, interviewed a few guests, and it was a pretty good thing. All of that using my YOLO Pro, oh, excuse me, my YOLO Box Mini, which is right here in front of me. And um, it's, appears to be a great machine is having a good time tonight i'm going to be using two views i'm going to be using an overhead overhead view i have a c a c stand hooked up to my um a7c which is overhead and this is coming off of my um, ax33 uh sony camera so let's go ahead and get into the unboxing what we'll be unboxing tonight will be the ATM Mini Pro. Um, basic unboxings, I just unbox and show you what I think of the, the actual thing. And then we'll um, see what it's like from there. So let's go ahead and unbox it. I pulled off the cellophane wrapper because that's always the hardest one. And I don't want you to see me with a knife in my hand trying to get something out of there. And then we're just gonna pull up the box, open it up. A little bit of light in there. And when you first open the box, you'll see that it's a little bit bright. I'm wondering, should I try to bring down my light? Yeah, let me come back to me and I'm gonna actually, well, the camera shake a little bit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to bring my ISO down because it's way up too high. And we're gonna drop my ISO down to about 800 and then you could get a better look at the box itself sorry about that i should have looked at that before i started but the first thing you see on top is the uh actual information packet um and some in a sticker black magic design sticker and uh, free downloads for some program so we'll take those out and put them onto the side. Then you have the charger. And what's cool about this is the charger has a little bridge in it so you can stick in a connector for whatever um, country you're in. So on this particular one, it's not set up for anything yet. It's got a screw in lock for the back side. Put that down. And here's a plug for European. Here is a plug for, I think that's one of the Asian plugs. And uh, this is another plug. I don't see a USA, a US plug. There you go. So there's our plug right there. It's just a two prime plug. And I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna stick it in here and pop it in like that so I can plug in my point but all those other plugs can be used for overseas and then i'm going to take out the top phone piece and inside is our product so i'm going to go ahead and pull the product out and move the box out of the way and go back to me so the product itself feels pretty hefty nice size nice weight and as you can see in the back right here where the um, plug goes into it's a twist lock plug so when you plug it in you have to twist it to lock it into place and it locks right into place right there so now let's take a closer look at the actual product itself let me move some things out of the way Put the product back on the desk part and hold on, we're getting back to you. And then you have the product. Okay, so the product has four different channels for the four, one, two, three, four HDMI ports in the back. But here's the thing about that. This is your HDMI out. 
these are your four ports. You have a USB in, you have a network connection straight on, you have a mic one and a mic two, and the electrical plug. On the top, you have your four channels, you have your mic arrangements for um, AFV, which is audio follow video, um, on the first two mics. You have an on and off switch form, volume up, volume down. And then on the other ones, you have audio follow video for each channel and the mics are right there. Um, you have your picture cuts right here. You have your durations, uh, effects, your video out, what it's going out to, uh, your streaming, your key codes, uh, your disc for recording. And it's got like a ventilator on the sides. It's pretty good. Looks pretty good. I like it. I think it's nice. And it might even add in to my, um, my YOLO box because I only have one HDMI input so I could put those on that, run it through a monitor and run the monitor to here so I could see what's going on. I got some tests to do on it and this is just my first look at it. So when I get those other tests done, I'll be back with you. Um, as of right now, I have my uh, DJI mic set. You can see it on me and the actual receiver is on the stand and it's plugged into my import. Now the DJI does have a USB-C that can plug into it and I could plug it into where the charging is, but the unit itself over, over loops the headphone. So I couldn't be able to hear what's going on with the headphones, but in, it doesn't have a really good adjustment for USB sound in or audio in, but it will handle from what I've been told, it will handle the um the USB audio in. And um I'm really liking this unit. It's a good investment. Hope some of you out there get your own. Uh, you can see I'm using a two camera setup. Um I could also put a computer on one of them and the camera on the other. So I could do like um uh, have a computer screen behind me and like a gaming capture type deal. Um, I think that's about it. That's all I want to do is do a quick unboxing so you guys can see it. Um, as always, uh, like me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Once again, I'm Mike of Photos by Mike, making life stand still one picture at a time. You guys take it easy, tongue tied. And... It's late for me. I'm getting old. And um, I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.